Hey guys, Kitsy Higgins here. Uh, I help women succeed with the help of their deceased loved ones. In this video, I wanted to talk about uh, how to get back up after being knocked down. Uh, please keep watching this. Uh, you never know. Maybe your deceased loved ones, spirit guides brought you to this video because uh, you need to hear something in this. So keep watching. Uh, I know being a single mom, uh, dealing with divorce, uh, dealing with businesses and the success, how success can go up and down and, and right and wrong and left and right. Uh, and inflation and these, this period can really sometimes knock people down where they're at. Uh, if you are going through this period, I am sorry. I feel for you. I have been there. The good news is though, is that if I can do it, you can too. Um, uh, someone recently asked that question, and I really thought that that was really important to kind of talk about and just to kind of give you some steps that I have done in the past to help me in those experiences. And I get it. It's sad. It's frustrating and almost a little bit devastating to have to deal with a negative uh, experience or being knocked down. But what I do know is that uh, we are all strong. And things somehow always work out. And um, sometimes just kind of learning how to work through an issue and finding solutions can help you grow. And that's a good thing. Uh, so the first thing I wanted to talk about was just uh, to really focus on yourself, your family, and your future. If you are going through a period where it's a hardship being knocked down, um, it's uh, really important just to kind of focus on the future, look at what it is that you want to be accomplishing in your life. What is it that you are desiring to have? Is it to have no credit card debt? Is it to uh, live a peaceful life? Is it to uh, be, you know, in a better financial position or just in a better family position or better whatever position, you know, focus on that um, and really, there's really nothing you can do about the past. There's really nothing that you can take back. Uh, so you just thinking about your past is just going to kind of create that negative energy towards it. Um, where that energy focusing it forward will be better for you and will be uh, an important key. Because, you know, when you kind of are like, okay, I'm going to try to get debt free, that allows you to kind of think about that positive experience that's going to be happening and and getting in alignment with that vision and goal. Next will be to remind yourself that you will get through this period. You have gotten through hardships in the past. You've gotten through hard times in the past. You've gotten knocked down in the past. You will get through it. Uh, in this moment, you may be thinking, I can't and I won't. Uh, you will. Uh, give a minute or two after this video to think back of a hardship or two. Uh, I know for me, someone ran into my car and they were skirting away the, the responsibility of saying, yeah, I did the accident, even though if I had their insurance card and took a picture of it, uh, which shows responsibility that she did it. And uh, when she didn't take it, uh, I thought to myself, oh, this is never going to get resolved. Well, six months later, it's resolved. Yay. So, um, uh, you know, six months ago, I, I didn't think it was ever going to get resolved. So at some point, things shift, things change, and it works out. Um, so just remind yourself that, uh, and it kind of alleviates the stress that you're experiencing in the moment just a wee bit. Uh, next is what is in your power to change? So it's really looking at um, maybe it might not be necessarily the solution because the solution is too big. It's a lot of things than where you are at at the moment. But uh, it could be just thinking to yourself, okay, I'm in a financial predicament. Um, and instead of going out to nicer restaurants, we're going to go to Burger King. Um, I'm going to go and apply for assistance, see what I qualify for. Maybe that might help me financially. Maybe I'll get a part-time job. Maybe I'll get a full-time job. So it's just thinking of solutions. If, if, if you feel heartbroken and you're experiencing heartbreak, same thing. Uh, what can I do to shift where I'm at right now? What is in my power? I can't control that person hurting me, but what is in my power is 
uh, finding a therapist, uh, working with friends, talking with friends and finding myself again. So it's just thinking of, uh, again, it might not be a huge solution, just those little tiny things that could help you go towards that larger solution. Um, and again, it may be a small change, but it's still better than nothing. Um, remind yourself to be kind to yourself this, this period when, especially if you had any part of this being knocked down, it's so easy to self-loathe. It's so easy to self-hate. I just talked to someone that I know that said in this moment, I'm feeling self-loathing first. And I reminded her, you know, this, this is out of your control. And, um, because of a situation we're dealing with and, um, the strike and, and so, you know, I just reminded her, listen, like, you know, there's, this is out of your control and there's really nothing that you did. And I don't know if she totally accepted that, but it was just kind of helping her, uh, remove some of the self-loathing and self-hatred. Um, so it's really important during this period just to really just, uh, n n uh, to stay away from self-loathing, self-hating, um, and do your best to just be kind to yourself and to, to not love yourself, just to be kind to yourself and the fact that, um, uh, that you're just, you know, we're, we're all not perfect. We all make mistakes. I've been there. I've done that. It's not, uh, you know, dealing with these periods, um, we gotta, we gotta weather the storm and come out of it a happier, better place rather than beating ourselves up in an awful rabbit hole. These solutions are helping you get out of a mental rabbit hole of where you're at, which is, uh, so important. Um, and you know, if, if I can help you get just a tad bit above the rabbit hole or a tad bit, a few steps out of a rabbit hole, then that is just amazing. Yay. Um, so you're not perfect. We all make mistakes. So remind yourself that when you are beating yourself up and thinking it's all your fault. Um, so, you know, we're, we're all imperfect, but we all have a piece of God within us. And so there must be an overall uh, divine purpose of that situation that you're dealing with. Uh, next would be just to look for lessons. Look, look for lessons. See what you're learning. See the, the, the primary benefits of it and see the secondary and probably even the tertiary benefits to this negative experience. Um, my experience is we had a really, um, uh, unfortunately my dad was shot many years ago and, um, it, it's a hard thing and a pretty knocked down experience. But he, um, there is, there is some type of benefit because it happened for a reason and there's secondary and there's tertiary. So, um, it's really important to, to keep in mind the lessons that you're learning. And, and if you even want to go a step further thinking of, okay, well, because of this lesson, this helped and that helped and that helped. It's hard when, um, you know, you think to yourself, I don't want to learn hard experiences, but sometimes it's just how it happens. And somehow, uh, and sometimes it's just how it goes. And, um, it's, it's, it's important to rise from these occasions and rise from these setbacks rather than to fall and let it and, and lose yourself. So, um, and Hey, final reminder, if I can do this, you can too, you know, and, and I'm looking at who I want to be and what do I want to achieve in my life? And I think to myself, you know, and I'm seeing someone that's doing it and I'm thinking to myself, Hey, if that person can do it, I know I can. So remind yourself, you know, Hey, if Kitsy can get out of a hard place and out of a knockdown place, um, being knocked down and gets back up, I know I can too. So remind yourself in that hard moment when you're beating yourself up or you're thinking to yourself, this is never going to work out. Remind yourself, this is all going to work out somehow. If Kitsy can be knocked down and get back up, I can too. So I leave that with you. I feel like this is just uh, in a great big circling and bringing me back for the last two years, three years, five years of my life. So this video is really just all encompassing of the last five years. And remember... Sometimes success is a step 
just up, gradual, good linear, or sometimes there's success where it's up and then deep down and then up again and then deep down. So you got to remind yourself that, that sometimes success is, is a gradual increase and sometimes it's big highs and big lows and then big highs again. So remind yourself that. I leave that with you. I hope that this helps. Please share this with someone that you know if they're having a hard time. Thank you. Take care. Bye.